Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, Justin here as always. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me on this ridiculous hellscape of heat that we're having. Holy cow, I gave Pete um, a bath outside. We were only outside for 10 minutes and I was just drenched. So I hope everybody's staying hydrated. But that being said, I'm really excited for today's video. This marks a new series on the channel, a new vlog series. And I, know I already have my movie night vlogs that I do with my sister or just hanging out to see a movie, but this marks the new vlog series, Hitting the Streets. I wanna try something different um, with the channel and try to think outside the box a little bit. And I wanna start traveling a little bit um, and going and finding these things, going to see concerts, traveling to find really interesting shops and antique shops and vintage shops and thrift stores and pick up soundtracks and VHS tapes and collectibles. So this marks the beginning of a series that I'm really excited about. I'm not sure where we're gonna go next, uh, but this is the Hitting the Streets vlogs and there's a lot packed into this. This is the biggest vlog I've ever done. We went to Little Rock, Arkansas. This took place um, over last weekend. I believe it is the 11th, 12th, and the 13th. We arrived on the 11th. We snuck Pete into the hotel in this Mission Impossible operation. Um, we encounter an insane Uber driver who just would not stop doing Family Guy impressions and luckily I was had the fortitude enough to flip on my camera and record that. We went to a couple of really cool vintage shops and used CD record movie stores. Uh, Been and Gone Records and the Arkansas CD Record Exchange, which was really cool. I tried Fat Burger for the first time. Um, the only regrettable thing about this particular trip is that we tried to, one of our landmarks that we were gonna hit was uh, Retro Rick's store, which you'll see at the very last scene of the vlog, we went there and they weren't open. They didn't open until 1 p.m. on Sunday. So I really wish we could have went to uh, he's a fellow YouTuber. If you've seen his channel, I'll link his channel down below, Retro Rick. Uh, he does 90s collectibles and mostly video game stuff, uh, like old video game consoles and video game uh, related content. So we were bummed that we couldn't go to his store, but we kind of peeked in the uh, store and took a look. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, there were some areas where I didn't film enough content, so it's kind of scattered, but it tells a pretty good chronological story of our trip to Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh, I guess I forgot to mention the whole reason we went uh, to Little Rock, Arkansas was for a mystery concert. So I won't spoil that now, and I tell you what uh, the deal is with that in the vlog. So that was the initial intended um, journey for this um for this vlog was to go and see this mystery concert. So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I hope you enjoy the new series, Hitting the Streets. This is episode one, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. So we'll see you on the other side, guys. Enjoy, bye. Pew, pew, pew. What's going on, everybody? Reporting live from the Homewood Suites in Little Rock, Arkansas. What's going on, everybody? Uh, I'm on a road trip, and I figured I'd better shoot some footage. I don't even know if I'll end up using this, but maybe I will. Uh, I'm here in Little Rock, Arkansas to see three bands. Now, there's, I got my little buddy Pete with me. Funny story about that, we'll, I'll tell you here in a second. But um, a couple months ago, my buddy Matt came up to me, and he's like, Hey, man, you want to go to a concert? What are you doing on this date? And I said, I just stopped him from talking. I said, I don't know if I'm just getting bored or, or what it is, but I just stopped him from talking. I said, yes, I want to go to the concert. It's totally down. Just don't tell me what it is. I don't want to know what it is. It'll be a surprise. I said, as long as it's not a band that I'm gonna like fucking hate, you know, or something like that. Just ma don't make it not a goof, okay? I don't want a practical joke. Um, <laughs> but so apparently, three uh, '90s bands that uh, we we loved growing up are playing here in Little Rock, Arkansas tonight. Getting ready to go get some breakfast downstairs. He's already eating because he's a bitch and he left me up here alone. Um, he's gonna make me eat alone like I'm fucking Steven Glansberg. What, so I gotta sit here and eat dessert alone like I'm fucking Steven Glansberg? Uh, anyway, I wanted to shoot a little bit of footage. We'll go to the concert tonight. I didn't film anything going up here because it was a six hour drive and we were just, it was just a long, boring drive and I, so I didn't film anything. But um, I wanna hit a used, stop, a used spot today. Maybe you can find a used thrift store, a thrift store or a used CD store or something like that. Maybe do some little shopping, get some food. And just kind of bounce around Little Rock. I've never been here. So we brought Pete. You guys saw, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw our little Mission Impossible mission where we snuck Pete in with the bag. All right, Pete, here we go, buddy. It's the moment of truth. You ready to do this? Here we go. We're sneaking Pete into the hotel. Can you see him? I can't. No dog here. Down, down, down. 
dun, 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 dun. Um, we may end up just having to pay the pet deposit, but my dumbass friend didn't tell him that we uh, were bringing a dog anyway. So I'm gonna go get some breakfast, and then uh, we'll bounce around town, and then we got a concert tonight. So yes, Little Rock, Arkansas, baby, let's go. Buddy, baby, let's go, buddy. expect the shining twins to pop up all of a sudden. <gasps> Liminal. You want to be in my vlog, dude? Okay. Be in the vlog, dude? Uh, this is my buddy. So we're headed to Ben Around Records in Little Rock, Arkansas. Again, we're going to a mystery concert tonight. I have no idea. So we're going, okay, well, give me give me any details you can about the show tonight without giving it away. All right, so the headliner was formed in the 80s and is still touring, but they're known as a 90s band. Okay. So it's like an old school Staples 90s band. Correct, and the two openers are late 90s, 2000s supporting acts that you will know both of them. But they weren't major acts. This no, not not fully major acts ever. They've always been like great openers. See, when I'm thinking of the the main band, I, if I think like a '90s staple band, I'm thinking if you said they started in the '80s, went through the '90s. I mean, it could be a seminal band like Pixies or something crazy like that. Not yeah. like one of the flash in the pan like '90s grunge wave bands. Is this a grunge concert? No. This is great. I'm glad we decided to keep it a mystery. I literally have no idea what fucking concert. This we're is see. a rock concert. Rock, but it's also got some pop elements and some punk elements. So I cannot say anymore. Show's still about seven or eight hours away, so we're gonna hit up a couple of used vintage shops, uh, spots, see if we can find maybe some DVDs, Blu-rays, mm -hmm. whatever. Then hit some dinner and then uh, catch the show. I'd but like to find maybe some cool like VHS or toy or collectible or something. So you tell them what album we're listening to. We're listening to Green Day Dookie, a seminal album of our childhood. I'm also going to rip a gar and drink some that life. I might... I might rip a gar with you. Okay, all right, all right. We might rip a gar. Okay. All right, we're going to head to Ben Around. We'll fi I'll film a little bit in the store and we'll get some footy. <laughs> like that part side me. Successful man, what is that called? Um, been around 
records and CDs. The guy in there, super cool owner. We, I actually should have, I wanted to ask him a couple questions because he started giving us a little bit of history and he says he's the oldest, the oldest secondhand record store in Little Rock. They opened in 1980. So that same guy has owned and ran that store for over 40 years, which is crazy. Really old school. It's the kind of shop that I like where shit's kind of thrown everywhere. It's yeah. dusty. It's like, it's not, it just feels really cozy. It reminds me of the places I used to go to when I was, when I was younger and stuff, like CD Warehouse. So I guess we're going to go check out another place now. Yeah, man. So let's go. Into Arkansas Records CD Exchange we go. Ooh, thank you, sir. Ring the bell. Oh, are they close? Gotta ring the bell. Three dog night. This one's gonna blow your mind, brother. What do you got? Holy shit, damn. And that, um, Why don't you wear shorts like that? That's dope. On the weekends I do. Hell yeah, brother. So I picked up a couple things from the first place, Been and Gone. I picked up the Elephant Man soundtrack, um, which is cool, dope, kind of a oddity piece. You don't see too many of those too often. Then I picked up good old Jerry Rafferty, City to City. I love that song, Right Down the Line. This also has Baker Street and Steel and Time. It's a great album. A couple random picks. I got both of these for less than 10 bucks. Then I got this stack of VHS tapes, the guy who was selling them happened to be right there and I got this whole stack for five bucks or yeah five bucks Battlefield Earth a classic Muppet Show Weird Science Mystic Pizza and the original Blob so for five bucks couldn't beat that five VHS tapes two albums hell yeah all right what'd you get dude you got a lot of shit sure did so we got Dion Warwick hell yeah oh you ended up getting that one Taproot Manuscript. That's cool. Another Neil. Fuck yeah, look at $2 that Two each, another Neil. Another Neil. We got Linda. Linda, dude. Oh, I saw that one. She's a cutie pie, dude. Beautiful roller skates. Hell Three yeah. Three Dog Night. That's dope. Let's see, we got... Yeah, you picked up a couple random soundtracks, which is cool. Yeah. Walt Disney production story of Black Hole. Yeah, which another, is cool. Another Dion. You're on a little Golden bit of a years. Warwick kick, huh? So we got Dion and Neil, and then we got this this bitch. What's that bitch? Oh what yeah, that broken. He just shit. gave it to me. It was broken. That is cool though. Let's see but that this artwork. this art though. Look at that art. What year is that? What do we got? 1977. Cool. Good haul, dude. Sure. 
pretty damn good. You got Quagmire? I don't got Cla Quagmire. I got Cleveland Brown and Quinn Sweat. Yeah, let's hear Cleveland. Dude. <clears throat> My name is Cleveland Brown. Hey, y'all. No, 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 no. Oh, that's just nasty. That's nasty. I like, what else you got? You got Peter? I don't got Peter. I got Quinn Suela. Oh, hell yeah. No, no. Mr. Superman, no, here. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. I've also got the gingerbread man from Shrek, if you guys want to hear that. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yep. Lay it on him. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Dude. No, <laughs> not the gumdrop buttons! Oh, that's great. I'm here to collect my bounty! <laughs> You guys know Penguins of Madagascar? Uh, I've never seen that one. No. no. Oh. <laughs> okay, we we just got here, and I just now heard the announcement of who's playing tonight. We drove all the way to Little Rock, Arkansas, sun's right in our face, to, to see who? The Offspring. And some 41. And simple, simple plan. Fucking That's plan. Right, dude. Fucking oh, agree. my God. Oh, yeah, we got floor seats, aisle, middle. By floor the way. seats, aisle, middle. Yeah. I can't believe, first of all, that I didn't figure it out this whole time until right walking up. Until, I did see when I walked up, I saw, I did see an Offspring t-shirt. And there's a dude over there with a Collective Soul t-shirt, so... Well, fuck yeah. That's We're gonna head sign. in. Good shit, dude. Right now. Yeah. 
I think we should do it. All right, here we go. Drivers ahead, sit down and sit. We are show my feet. The brakes need some things. I feel like I've got it. Stupid dumb shit. Goddamn, motherfucker. Made it, dude. Yeah. We figured it was gonna take forever to get an Uber, so we're just walking home. It's so hot. It's actually it's, not that bad. It's right pretty now. humid. It's very, very humid. And now we're getting ready to walk across this crazy bridge and get back to the place. It's got uh, rainbow colors. I think we're getting too old for this shit, dude. Yeah, rigs. I thought, you know, to be honest with you, I think Simple Plan was the highlight of the I mean, evening. Why did for they real. kill it more than everybody they else? They sounded, their sound was better, their mix was better. The Their lead sing singer could jump yeah. around. The P Pierre, I think, is his name. He fucking sounded great, dude. Dexter sounds like a newborn baby wailing for an hour, but the hits were good. Some 41 was okay. I feel like yeah. they had just a shitty sound mix, so it, it, it made them not sound as good. I'll tell you but, what, a good sound guy is hard to find, brother. But, all right, I'm gonna get off here before we get shot. Would you say you're too fat to be in this video? Yeah. We are here at Fat Burger. We don't have any of these in Kansas City, so we want to give this a try. Can we zoom out? So yeah, we're gonna give Fat Burger a try. Oh, he left me. My buddy left me. So we are here. We're on the road back to Kansas City. Uh, we went to the concert last night. It was absolutely, it was amazing. It ended up being Offspring, Sum 41, and Simple Plan. Surprisingly, to me at least, Simple Plan was the highlight of the show. Like if I go back to see any of those bands, if they come to Kansas City or something, it's it's gonna be Simple Plan. They put on a fucking great show. All the bands were great, but um, I was just surprised at how, how good of a time I had with Simple Plan, because not a huge Simple Plan fan, but I am now. But um, now we're gonna try a fat burger. And we just got done eating this big breakfast at the hotel. I'm not even hungry, but I just, I don't have, I don't know when I'll have this opportunity again. So we're gonna go in here and try some fat burger. 